Hi guys, it's Matt here from mybigfatass.com here with uh, another confession of a big fat biffer. Uh, you're probably aware that the blog started and I posted once or twice a day, every day at 9am for a while and then I stopped. Well, I didn't stop, I just I slowed down. And the reason for that isn't a lack of incentive and it's not a lack of interest in the blog or in you guys. It's shame. I got to the point where I was ready to try something out. But rather than go for it and try it out, I've been procrastinating. I've procrastinated for something like four weeks now. Uh, the plan is simple, it's an a, a experimental diet technique that tries to limit the uh, heightened levels of hunger hormones that the body produces that leave you in a kind of starvation mode. And that starvation mode of causes you to depend on weight that you last stand more besides. And it's not very fast, it most a pound or two a week. But it should be a case of a substantive lifestyle change that would leave me permanently having lost that weight. Should be, be a big deal. Uh, the thing is, it's based upon some pretty experimental ideas, and I've no idea whether it'll work or not. Obviously, the, the, the easiest way is just to have a go, but it's not not the wisest. The best idea would be to have some medical oversight to go and see my GP and make sure he knows what I'm doing and he's keeping an eye on things and he's checking my cholesterol level and my blood sugar level and the various hormone levels and just making sure that I'm not killing myself and of course this puts the whole experiment on a more scientific footing I'll be able to chart the information and it won't just be anecdotal evidence, there will be some experimental data generated. Not stopping me. Well, if I'm really honest, working for myself, something I've been talking about in 100quidaday.com, means that you can get up when you want. And getting up when you want is fine, but the problem is that GPs get up when they want. And generally speaking, they want to get up very early. And if I want an appointment with my GP, I've got to have made the phone call by about quarter past eight, where my eyes are blissfully asleep, closed, and my head is on my pillow, and my big fat ass is snoring. He's always asleep. When's he ever going to be any fun? All he ever does is eat and sleep. And I could set an alarm. And I keep telling myself, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got something arranged. I'll do it the next day. Oh, hang on. Next week. Or the week after. Or the week after that. It's one of the major lifestyle changes that I want to look at over the coming next couple of years is finding ways to undermine my own procrastination. If you've got any ideas on how that can be achieved, please share because, quite honestly, that would be groundbreaking in and of itself. So, I have a plan. Um, I have an idea that I think might be really informative and a technique that's doable. Uh, to create a lifestyle change that will result in permanent weight loss. I'm going to give it a go, I'm going to experiment with it, and the only thing standing between me and doing that is getting my big fat backside down to my GP's office. But rather than wait, wait to make the post that says, yes, I've done that, I'm telling you that I haven't done it. And so my plan now is to crack right back on with looking at what doesn't work and examining my own faults and failings in the series Confessions of a Big Fat Biffer 
and maybe next time I'll tell you why it's not a good idea when you've got three kids in tow and money in the pocket to leave the house hungry. Thank <laughs> you.